There is new information tonight in the deadly crash that killed a father and son in 2021. The driver stayed on the scene. Why it took more than a year to make an arrest. Good evening, I'm Clarice Tinsley. First at 5.30, Michael Halal was arrested and charged late last week with two counts of manslaughter from an auto pedestrian accident in Ferris, south of Dallas on I-45 in 2021, 14 months ago. He contracted with Ferris and other smaller communities to do city attorney work. Work. Fox 4 Sean Rabb live in Ferris where the council has taken action concerning Halas employment and Sean do you know why this investigation has taken so long? Well, Clarice, I can tell you that the Department of Public Safety took over the investigation. There were many search warrants pertaining to Michael Hala's vehicle, as well as his cell phone, uh, the hardware, and his cell service provider. When all of that information came back, troopers made the decision to charge him with manslaughter for the death of a 36-year-old man and his 5-year-old son. And that's when the city of Ferris decided for now to sever their relationship with Michael Hala got our citizens that are directly impacted, but we believed uh, that with him being charged, it was the right decision to suspend services pending the outcome of uh, this legal process. Let the record show that In a special called meeting, Ferris City Council unanimously agrees to indefinitely suspend its contract with Michael Halla, who served in the capacity as city attorney. Hollow was arrested and charged with two counts of manslaughter for hitting and killing father and son Edward and Ethan Beltran November 2021 as the Beltran family walked home from playing basketball at a school across FM 664 from their neighborhood. That was 14 months ago. I was one of the first on scene uh, for the accident itself. It was, uh, it was tragic. Uh, the family's lives will never be the same, and we're, we're sorry for them. Um, beyond that, I made a decision as the city manager, along with our police chief at that time, that we would not investigate that accident. The Department of Public Safety took over the investigation, filing multiple search warrants, generating pages and pages of documents that reveal the accident happened at 6.05 p.m. November 2021. Halla was late for the 6 o'clock Ferris City Council meeting. Information from search warrants show Halla was driving at a dangerously high speed, 102 miles per hour, 4.8 seconds before the incident. His 2020 Explorer traveling 93 miles per hour at the time of impact. And documents say Halla was in possession of a cell phone when the crash happened. Halla was arrested last week, posting bond on the two counts of manslaughter. He has not been indicted. We do believe there is a difference between being charged and guilty. And so rather than completely sever all ties forever, we believe su uh, suspending indefinitely was the right thing to allow the legal process to take place. Ferris has been criticized on social media because of how long it's taken from the accident to charges and arrest. I would actually challenge that and say this is proof of a transparent government that's doing the right thing and it took 14 months because an investigation was done properly and further it was done properly because we removed ourselves from that investigation. Now, the, I can tell you that drugs and alcohol, not any part of this horrific accident. High speed, dangerously high speed, and distracted driving cell phone, either talking or texting the facts to this sad, sad story. We did hear from one other city today where Michael Holla contracted, that was Wilmer. They've not yet made any decisions about his status, say they will make a decision by their council meeting January 19th. Sean Rayab reporting live. Thank you.